Numerical Methods Problem 13.21 An object can be projected upwards at a specified velocity. If it is subject to linear drag, its altitude as a function of time can be computed as the following function z equals z sub 0 plus m over c times v sub 0 plus mg over c times 1 minus e to the negative c over m times t minus mg over c times t where z equals altitude m above the Earth's surface, or meters, defined as z equals zero. c sub zero is the initial altitude in meters, and m equals mass in kilograms. c equals a linear drag coefficient in kilograms per second. Uh, v sub zero equals initial velocity meters per second and t equals time in seconds. Note that for this formulation, positive velocity is considered to be the upward direction. Given the following parameter values, g equals 9.81 meters per second squared, z sub zero equals 100 meters, and ve velocity at zero equals 55 meters per second, mass equals 80 kilograms, and c equals to 15 kilograms per second, or our linear drag coefficient. The equation can be used to calculate the jumper's altitude. Determine the time and the altitude of peak elevation. A, graphically, B, analytically, C, with golden section search until the approximate error falls below 1%, with initial guess of T lower, equals 0 and t upper equals 10 in seconds. So here are the values given to us by the equation. Here is our range of t's from t equals 0 to t equals 10 seconds. Here's the equation reworked to be used in MATLAB with respect of t. Here is our derivative of our equation, and here we find the max. So if we plot that up as our analytical solution, and as you can see, at about 4 or 3.83 exactly, we have a maximum altitude of 192.8609. Here's the original graph, here's the graph of the derivative, and here is the maximums. So, for the next part, it wants us to solve it with the golden ratio or golden ratio on search. So, we set that up with our t lower equal to 0 and our t upper equal to 10, just as the equation said. We find the golden ratio, set up the equation, and then implement it for 10 iterations, because 10 iterations will get us within 1% of the correct answer or the correct maxima. This is because the percent error is based on the golden ratio and each iteration is a power of the golden ratio so 10 iterations is approximately go the golden ratio to the tenth power which gives us an error below 1% so, for our golden section search down here, we match the conditions, go through our iterations 10 times, and then display our solutions down here. So let's plot it up. Here is the golden section search. Here we have our lower and upper bounds or our lower and upper guesses approximating our maximum. 
which is here at 3.8699 seconds and it is 192.8537 after 10 iterations. And that is it for problem 13.21.